Nella mia vita sono stata stimolata da molte persone, ma soltanto da un tipo di automobile. Una volta Fangio mi disse che guidava a una velocità troppo alta e quindi correndo troppi rischi. Ma a quei tempi e in quell'autovettura mi sentivo assolutamente impavida. Per me la sensazione provata guidando una Maserati è stata una delle fonti più costanti di piacere nella mia vita e non ho dubbi che lo sarà anche per te. Sono veramente felice di aver passato la miglior parte della mia vita in gara e alla guida di quelle che per me sono le migliori vetture mai create. Ora ho 88 anni e sono abbastanza vecchia per ammettere che invidio la strada che si è appena aperta davanti a te credi a qualcuno che lo sa i più fantastici chilometri sono tutti davanti a te Maria Teresa de Filippis she has inspired many young girls to join Formula One as she was the world's first ever female Formula One driver however Unheard of and underappreciated, forgotten and lesser known, shouldn't be things written in a paper of weekly magazine, only to be thrown away in a sad forgotten tone. She said, two of my brothers bet the other that I couldn't drive fast, but if they'd raced, they'd be the ones to come last. She trained hard on the Amalfi Coast and won her first race, giving her brothers a right slap in the face. But for a girl who had always been more interested in horses than animals, than cars and racing, her parents were sceptical about the dream she was chasing. The only helmet a woman should wear is the one at her hairdressers, she was told, but nothing could stop her. She was fearless, she was bold. No woman should be called incompetent or weak or have to beg down at a businessman's feet or get a workforce fleet just to be told she can't eat at this table or take a seat in this car. No, Maria Filippes did not take no for an answer and got noticed by a famous race car driver, the one she had worked hard to please and sit down in his car and finally turn the keys. Paired for the 1958 Belgium race, competing and coming 10th place, but with all the ribbon and the lace, it happened to be her first and final Formula One finished race best known for being Formula One's first ever female race driver and such a good survivor. It's the message she carried from base to base and to outer space because she knew it wasn't about how well she aced the final race or how well she held her poker face or even if she won the race past first base or just touch base. She knew it's not about your ethnic race, your workplace, your birthplace, the airspace or that final shoelace but down to how well she embraced it and her well-carried grace that got De Filippis to the Grand Prix race.